Hey fellas, welcome to my playthrough of The Backroom's Lost Tape. Um, you're probably wondering where I've been the last week. I've actually been incredibly sick, so much so that uh, I definitely couldn't record. It would have been the most annoying videos you've ever seen in your life. I've been coughing like every 15 seconds or so. It's If you're annoyed, trust me, you have no... well. I'm sure you have an idea what it's like. But anyway, yeah, I wasn't really planning on recording today. I'm still a little sick. But this game just came out, and there's no way that I'm going to skip out on a Backrooms game. Like, come on, these things are made of gold. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, look at that. Four, five lovely tapes. Oh, that's a little jank. Okay. Uh, the Tape of Josh. Play. Hope you guys have been doing well. Hope no one is sick on Christmas like me. That'd be an absolute shame. Alright, hey boss. As you can see, the um, the people were able to clean up the place and I was able to help. Really, um, really good. Uh, that one spot that was really bad, uh, I don't that may be an exception. Subtitles? But, uh, everything else is clean. Um, as you can see right here. I'll be moving around here a little bit to show you. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, but I'll go to room one soon. Just wanted to let you know. God dang it. What? Stupid light. What? what? Back room hey, found. Down? I wouldn't move if I were you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big fucking mistake, Josh. Where? Hello? Anyone here? Hello? Oh, yes. I have no legs. That's always good. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry if... I'll try to edit out any coughs, but... If I leave some in, or if I go... I don't, even, I don't even know if you heard that, but if I sniffle or whatever, I'm sorry. If I don't catch it in the editing. I'm going to use this notepad to make some annotations of some possible clues about how to escape this place. Um, okay. Oh, I can actually write notes? Well, this is not handy at all. Fuck that. Note taking. Oh, yeah. Happy holidays. <laughs> Can I go through here? Oh, my God. The back rooms. Okay. Let's get out of this damp ass fucking cubicle that everyone thinks is scary for whatever reason. The most interesting thing about the back rooms is the the concept of clipping through the real world. That's it. I took the computer monitor that was here to the lab. The one in the lab was apparently broken. My legs and feet hurts. I walk so much carrying these things. Hope I can finish this as this may be the only way out of this place. I connected the computer to the laboratory module in order to be able to access the generator, but the problem is that it is requesting a password. I think I will be stuck here forever. This guy's a scientist? Are you sure? That is a fucking run-on sentence if I've ever seen one. Um, there was nothing else, right? Yeah, okay. Well, he must be a scientist. I mean, he's got a fucking a motherboard right there. Oh, look at that, a chip. Got some... Where's he getting power from? <coughs> Sorry. These outlets are connected to themselves. I just sniffled. I'm sorry if you heard that. Maybe I shouldn't edit out the coughs. They might be more interesting than the game. You never know. What does Lod sound like when he's sick? 
fascinating white chair. Zone B. Oh, look at that. Another fascinating white chair. What is... The chairs are dangerous? <laughs> uh, what's dangerous is that this game is jank. Why can't... Why am I moving to the side? Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, I told you Backrooms games are fucking gold mines. Can I crouch? Okay. Is there a chair in there? I don't want to be... I don't want to be in danger. Of a possible chair attack. Holy fuck. I'm gonna need this. If they catch me. You know... <laughs> oddly enough, I had an idea of making a Backrooms horror game. And you let me know if this is fascinating to you. Because I'll, I'll make it. I don't know. I've, I've, I'm, I'm crazy and stupid enough to make a Backrooms game. I, trust me, I will do it. The idea was that it's actually a kaiju game in which a table... <laughs> a table and a stop sign are monsters in the Backrooms and they fight each other and you. And so it's actually like a 1v1v1. That, to me is more fascinating than all of the Backrooms games combined. And if you're a huge Backrooms game fan, I'm not knocking your love for the Backrooms. I, I just personally don't think that these, uh, this is a very, um, oh, I can go in here. It's just not a very engaging concept, you know what I mean? It's just the same textured walls over and over. Maybe a slight hum. Maybe a secret or two. And then a poorly animated monster. Great. A fucking key code. I do have a pen, but no paper. But I do have wrapping paper. You know what that means? That means that the person who receives this this gift will have a random backrooms lost tape password on it. <laughs> and if they ask me what it means, I'll just tell them. You'll need it one day. Oh, they want me to go in there? But that's that's where something scary is gonna happen. Oh, mushrooms, that's kinda cool. Oh, something visually interesting. I just saw this door open one time when the lights were red. Okay. Wait. What's this? There's a strange humidity in this place. The carpet is wet in this part. It seems to come from this white area, which gave rise to these mushrooms. I was very hungry, so I ate one of them. Now my body won't stop itching. I'm itching so much that it's creating bruises, even on my head. Okay, so I guess just the person who made this game, or the character, right? The character that wrote these notes, um, doesn't understand what commas are for. I need to cough so bad. I'm so sorry, guys. Excuse me. God, it's endless. I better not be looking for fucking passcodes this whole time. I'm just following the white arrows because, I mean, they've got to lead me to something. This place brings me some memories. <clears throat> Every Backrooms game, I've realized, does their own thing with the concept of the Backrooms. And, uh... I just, I just feel like because there's no... There's no static in the back Backrooms lore. Everything is dynamic, everything is fluid. There's so much flexibility in this universe that uh, 
Nothing sticks and nothing is really serious. Deja vu area. This is your first time here. If this area feels familiar, immediately alert Foundation staff. If you see something, say something. See, so now... <coughs> Christ almighty. Now we have a SCP Foundation either reference or the back rooms is now an SCP. And we just have to go with it because, I mean, why not? I mean, there's nothing in the back rooms law book that says you can't do that. So, you know, what the fuck, whatever. Uh, what's our name again? Is it Paul? Whatever our name is, we're not very, uh, concerned about what happened to ourselves. If this was me, I'd be like, ah, oh, fuck. Well... <laughs> time to walk around for all eternity and not do shit. The lost tape! Like, I... Think about it this way. This tape shows up. NYPD. They're like, oh, fuck. Someone left a tape on our doorstep. We gotta see what this is. It might be... It might give us a lead into one of our cold cases or something. And what it is, is this. You know what I'm like? First of all, they'd have to make it through 12 minutes of nothing happening. Oh my god. What the hell's going on in this game? I feel like I'm playing System Shock now. Can I climb this? No. Okay. Well, is there a note? You wanna... Do you wanna say anything? Oh, okay, here we go. I think. No, that's just the awesome Unreal Engine reflection. <laughs> oh, there it is. The note. <clears throat> The password to access this computer is scattered all around this place. I was able to find the first number, which is 9. I hope this helps you if I can't escape this place. Fucking here we go. Jesus Christ. 9 something 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 5. Holy shit. Alright. Well. Okay. Oh, I turned it on. My name is Jennifer. to record the success and the task of shutting down the generator at this location, allowing that metal door to open. The problem is, apparently this brought something from another dimension. I created a password so that the generator doesn't turn off by accident. <coughs> when deciding to enter the password to be able to access another dimension, whatever it is, be prepared to run for your life. Well, I mean, I don't have the password. So, uh, I'm not gonna run for my life just yet. I guess what that means, then, <clears throat> is that nothing will chase us until we activate the computer. So, if there was any tension in the air, if you were worried at any point, now's your time to relax, because I, uh, nothing's gonna happen, baby. It's all good. Um... Man, is there really nothing in here? This is the fucking problem, I'm telling you. Oh, Jesus Christ, look at us go. We're actually just checking cubicles for notes. It could be anywhere, guys. They could be fucking anywhere. We don't need all the numbers. <clears throat> I'm willing to guess... I'm willing to guess a lot, okay? We don't... Oh, what's this? A secret path? Could it be? Be prepared to run for your life. And for this main character, that means two miles per hour. 
Come on, man. Elementary school kids can fucking do a seven minute mile compared to this guy. Get on it. I'm also lying. I don't think there are elementary school kids that could do seven minute miles, but I bet you if a monster was chasing them, they could probably be pretty close to that. Okay. I missed one here. Wait, is that it? Did I just not see that the first time? Big dumb idiot brain. <clears throat> this was my house for a long time here in this place. I hope you make a good use of it now. Good luck, my friend. What a nice guy. Okay, so nine something or something, something, something seven. So we're still missing three numbers, unfortunately. Hmm, sad. <laughs> Thank you, Josh, or whatever your name is. Oh, maybe? What am I? Well, I'm a prophet, and I foresee a new world. Will you be part of it? Oh, fucking shut up. Oh. <coughs> I can't even help it. I'm just gonna cough. I'm sick in two different ways now. <laughs> nah, I don't hate this game that much. I'm honestly just really happy to be recording again. If you could believe that. Oh, it's so dark in here. There's not a fucking thing. I guess we'll go all the way down this hall. <clears throat> oh? Look. Oh no. Ever dream this man? Every night all over the world hundreds of people see this face in their dreams. If this man appears in your dreams too, or if you have any information that could help us identify him, please contact us. So, <clears throat> I think this is like an analog horror type... Oh, Jesus. Analog horror. <laughs> he's an analog horror, I think. Uh, but yeah, I think he's just one of those creepypasta things. If you've seen this man in your dreams, then you're fucking losing it, man. Something like that. I'm not particularly scared of that stuff. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. It's just the way it be. Okay, then. Oh, I see a note. This is good. Chairs are fucking dangerous. Oh my god. Any one of these chairs. I'm telling you. Ugh. Oh, Jesus, okay. <clears throat> They're giving me the first number again. Oh, whatever, I'll read this. Hello, I'm an astronaut. I honestly don't know how I got here. I just remember that my spaceship malfunctioned <laughs> and I had to get out of it to fix it and my safety equipment broke. I had already, I thought, myself dead. I was wandering in space for a few hours when suddenly I just fell. As if gravity had suddenly returned and here I am in this gigantic place, which seems infinite. I'm leaving this letter in case anyone else falls or already is here can find me, in case I'm still alive. Important. I found some letters from other people here, which mention other levels, possibly floors or dimensions. Oh, Jesus. Of this place. Some say they have already passed through specific floors, including numbered ones. For example, this one is apparently called Level Zero. From what I read in the other letters, to get out of here will be difficult. It seems that it is something to be unraveled. I discovered one of the numbers. Nine is the first. Thank you, astronaut. How do I... How do I... No, 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 no. You did not... You did not fucking freeze. Stop that. You did not freeze. No, there's no, 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 no. There's no, no, there's no way. 
You didn't. You couldn't freeze. That's impossible. Yeah, it, 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 it doesn't say it's frozen. But there's no music. There's nothing... No, 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 <laughs> no, please, just, <clears throat> no, man, I just wanted to play a game, oh, for fuck's sake, oh my goodness, they really start me from the beginning, I mean, I guess it makes sense, because it doesn't matter, but, Hello? Shut up, Paul, Anyone or whatever here? the fuck your name is. Hello? We just went back to where we needed to be much faster. <clears throat> oh, there's an exit door. Oh, that kind of scared me. Achievement unlocked. Fake hope. Who is fucking with me? Like, what is the... What is the entity that put that door there and then pulled on the fucking fishing line? And why? Yeah, that lighting is kind of weird. I don't know if that is intentional, but that looks kind of cool. There's gotta be a note in here. There has to be. Give me a fucking note, you guys. Give me a number. I didn't walk all the way over here to not be given a number. I need a ladder, maybe? I can't fucking believe it. The back rooms, everybody. <clears throat> and you guys, you guys think that the the kaiju... If you thought the kaiju back rooms game that I just gave the awesome idea away... If you think that idea isn't good, then... I don't, I mean, I don't know how else you could save the back rooms, really. That's... The back rooms needs constant stimulation, I think. To keep the player from hating themselves and the game. Can a man just get a number? I'll, I'll, I'm okay with guessing the rest of them. I just need one more. One more, please. You know what? I think we were on the right track. We just can't read that note. I think that note gets us stuck or something. So let's just follow back down this way and uh, we should be fine I think now I'm like scared of notes because I don't want the game to freeze again I guess it doesn't matter if as long as we have um, <coughs> the numbers right so all right don't read that note that falls over whatever um, Is there any note over here? No. Fucking terrifying chairs, man. Oh boy. Aha! Oh, a chair. <clears throat> a number, thank, thank the lord. Nine eight something seven something five. We can fucking get through this. We don't need any more numbers. We are golden. We're going to guess the final two numbers, and that's that. Unless fucking up the numbers kills us or something, in which case that would really suck, man. I really hope that's not the case, but I wouldn't be surprised. You know? Can I read this? No. Oh my goodness. Is that a door? No, that's just a shadow. 
That light didn't break last time, right? Or am I wrong? <clears throat> I don't- oh no no, the lab is this way, what am I doing? <clears throat> the back rooms is so maze-like, it's- it's infinite, you'll- you'll never be able to map it out in your head. Okay, turn the stupid shit on. Shut up, Jennifer. Nine, eight. Uh, let's try one, seven. Fuck. One, five. What do you guys think of my awesome method of getting through this bullshit? It could be zero, too, huh? Oh, I guess I should try zero. This game doesn't stand a fucking chance now because I've, I've just finished building the muscle memory, so it's only a matter of time. Okay, so it's three and six. Where am I running to, by the way? Let me finish writing that down just in case. Three, six, I believe it was. Okay. Be prepared. Oh, I think I was told about this. I know where I have to run to or whatever, but I don't know how to get there. I saw the monster. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm still gonna go. I don't. What do you? What do you expect me to stay? Stay there. That's fine with me. Man, you know, I don't think I have this place mapped out exactly, but I think I have a pretty good idea about where where I'm supposed to be going. <clears throat> I ran out of stamina? Nobody mentioned their stamina. Oh, whatever. It's around here, right? I don't... No, 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 no. It's in here. I just don't remember where. <clears throat> it's to the left. I just can't go through the... Yeah, here we go. It's this way. God damn, this is loud as fuck. I made it through the door. Fucking nice try, dude. Should I hide in here? What is this for? <clears throat> Oh no, is this what I think it is? Have I upgraded to the pool level?
This looks pretty good. I think this is, in fact, the pool level. <laughs> Jesus Christ with this hallway. The back rooms is not a reason to put people in these hallways. Boys? Hard hat? What does it mean? Look, all I'm saying is you put a man in this hallway and then you give him a, an invisible stamina meter. He's bound to lose his fucking mind. I'm already congested. I have a stuffy nose. I, I blew my nose so hard that my left ear plugged up. I haven't been able to hear out of it since. Every time I yawn, it comes back slightly and I, I feel like I can hear like Superman. But then when I'm done yawning, it goes back to being worthless. <laughs> That's the pain I'm in. And then you make a pool level in your backrooms game. And you put me in another fucking elevator. The whole point of that hallway was what? What was it? To pad out the game another five minutes? Oh, this is beautiful. This does look kind of nice. The post-processing in this game is actually pretty good. I can't hate on all of it, you know. It, is, it does look pretty nice. Um, it's still not scary, though. As a matter of fact, I would- uh, this is like a paradise to me. I recently saw the 1978 Superman movie, where Lex Luthor is, is living like 200 feet underground in the fucking Metropolis... Subway? <laughs> it doesn't make sense, but the point is... He has a pool down there, and it looks like this. It's kind of nice. An wait, 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 wait. You gotta be joking. Another elevator. I can fall? Oh, no, I can't. Well, what kind of YouTuber would I be if I didn't show you the sights, you know? This looks pretty nice. I believe that's the point, you know? Of the pool rooms or whatever. But, like, wouldn't you be excited to make it to this point? You made it through the sweaty level zero and then you get to swim around a bit. Yeah, Paul, or whatever your name is, Josh. One of those. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's Paul. Yeah, Paul, whatever, dude. You must be dreaming. It's an SCP, don't you know what that is? Oh no. These sound effects, these footsteps might be a problem. <laughs> what does that say? This can't be heaven. You know what I see when I see that? I see a fucking amazing thumbnail. Hold on, let me frame it just right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll listen. We gotta give the people something entertaining to watch, okay? I need you to freak out. I need you to scream. I need you to do something. You've been real lackluster lately. As a matter of fact, from the beginning of the game, you've been pretty lackluster. If it had been me, I would have been freaking out working at the movie theater or whatever that was. Well, if it had been me at the movie theater, 
The moment I saw back rooms on the giant screen, I wouldn't move a fucking muscle. I'd literally sit there until daytime, and I'd let someone else fall into the back rooms. Look, man. Other people love the back rooms, okay? I'll give them the opportunity to enjoy it. We got a we got like a pretty good glimpse of the monster. Um it just seemed like a bunch of ropes, right? And then like something on the head. Okay, this is this got spooky-ish. Did it though? I don't understand the aspect ratio. Why are we going for a 4x3 type of thing here? They made this deep water so that I have to walk through this shit. Man, oh man. Listen guys, this game was $14, okay? I'm gonna complete this, this tape, and I'm going to upload it, and I'm going to ask all of you nicely, would you like to keep watching this? Because otherwise, I could use those $13 back. I'm not, I'm not even gonna front with you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be completely honest. Achievement unlocked cold water, by the way. Is this a different level? Or is this still the pool rooms? <clears throat> Excuse me. What the fuck is going on? Is that a monster? No, oh, it's an elevator, you dumbass. Oh, this is totally, like, a different level, right? I mean, like, come on, at this point... Is this even the back rooms, you know? Like... How far are we gonna let this go? Is the back rooms eventually going to be the Statue of Liberty or some shit? We gotta put an end to this. There are monsters or something somewhere or whatever. I don't know what these red lights are. Maybe they keep us safe. But I just don't even think there are monsters anywhere. What this looks like is the end of Portal. Is it Portal 1 or Portal 2? Oh, I can't open it. Ah, okay. So I guess we gotta solve a puzzle. Let's look for high ground. Maybe there's something in the ground at these lights? I don't know. Oh, you collect the red lights. I feel like I tried that. <clears throat> yum, yum, yum. All lights collected. Any anybody got a problem with that? I suppose not. Oh my god, my my <clears throat> my sinuses just cleared up. Um. <clears throat> Boy, oh boy. <laughs> I thought his eyes, uh... I thought his eyes would follow me, I don't know why. We made it to fucking Keemstar's house.
What is the point? Is anyone scared? Is is anyone? I'm I'm the only thing I'm fascinated by is the reviews on Steam. What could they could they could they possibly be positive? I I don't even know anymore. Is this tape one still? Am I still in tape one? That'd be fucking gnome. Oh shoot, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to step on you like that. Watch out for chairs. They're dangerous. Or maybe not anymore. I don't know. There's wind chimes here, so I'm assuming there's... Oh, here we go. Another house. <clears throat> this is this is a pretty catchy song. I'm not even gonna lie to you, but it's not what I expected in my backrooms horror game. You know, I guess I don't know what I expected. I don't even know where the fuck I'm supposed to go or where what I'm supposed to do. Is there a gnome in that house? I don't know. Am I interrogating gnomes? Am I... what would... You. Okay. I took something. It looked like a bottle. <coughs> Activate high ground. And look around. It really could be anywhere, like, I, uh, I don't even know. <laughs> I just know there's bound to be someone who's like, if you don't like the back rooms, why don't you play them? <laughs> and it's, look. I don't like the Backrooms games, but I do like what they do to me. I just, I enjoy what I become when I play these things. Oh, is that a smiley face? Oh my gosh. Finally. No way. No. I thought I made it out of this place. No, 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 no. This message is broadcasted to raise awareness of a new drug in circulation. The Snile drug. We advise for you to stay away from any person suspected to be under its influence. For the past few months, we have received over 500 deaths related to the drug. The drug itself has not been scientifically investigated. Its most obvious effects are mania, uncontrollable laughter, violent tendencies, and the latched smile in which the drug was named after. How do you ensure your safety outside? Avoid dark alleys since most reported deaths happened near or in the dark alley. Dark if you alleys. If suspicious laughter, run as fast as you can. Avoid eye contact with the person. Once the person notices you, it will begin pursuit. Do not interact. You will most likely be... Is this another video, or is it the same video? No, this is a new video, right? Substance is made of spores from an unidentified species of fungus. 
Risk of accidental intake is very high. Patient one, patient two. <clears throat> Brought to the emergency room on the same day. Complaining of a severe headache and acute facial cramps. This is a HIPAA violation. None of the medicine helped. Another HIPAA violation. They were taken to the lab for observation. What lab? You might as well tell me their names and date of births as well. Stage one, week one. Oh no, they took the smile drug. Patients begin to smile with some resistance. Patients suffered meningitis before subsiding within two days. Patients remain sane. I think this is the best part of the back room so far. Stage 2, week 2. <coughs> Sorry, they look goofy. Any resistance have been subdued by the fungus. Faces begin to contort to a wide grin. I mean, it seems pretty simple to deal with this. Like, there's, there's an obvious sign of them being controlled. Patient's behavior becomes... something. Manic laughter begins. Yeah, like, I feel like, all right, anybody that's smiling, shoot them. The patients were then locked in a room. You know, it's like, how do we know if they're the bad ones? Well, they got a giant smile on their face. Put them down. Fungus has permanently damaged facial tissue. <coughs> so they've effectively become zombies. Leaving a severely contorted face. Despite extensive nerve damage, the fused muscles maintain its expression. If ever the patients recover, they won't. Just shoot them. A face transplant is required for reintegration. Uh, no. That's, that's a highly optimistic thing to say. Vocal cords have stopped functioning due to extreme strain. It, put a bullet in their heads. They'll thank you later. Patient's behavior and motor functions begin to decline. <coughs> I mean... Towards the later part of this stage. Stage 4, week 5. Rapid senescence visible in patients. Patients has completely lost resemblance from past self. I mean, I see some similarities. Brain is in the late Alzheimer's stages. Patient 2 did not live up to the stage. <coughs> Patient 1 passed away six weeks into his admission. Autopsy. Fungus found in brain cells. It was observed secreting a substance similar to... Oh, cool. I read that. With con high concentrations of the fungus found in amygdala. Suggesting complete control over it. 30 minutes into the autopsy. A sudden burst of gas came out of the patient's mouth. What was initially thought to be gas was figured to be spores of the fungus. Two morticians were present in the room. They may have inhaled the spores. They have been quarantined. Cool. Alright, scary video complete. I don't know what that has to do with us, if anything, but it was a nice departure from the not doing anything all the time that is part of this game. <coughs> Fuck. The chairs have the high ground.
Look at them up there in their ivory towers. They know how dangerous they are. What is that? I don't fucking like that at all. It's a balloon, man. What are you so worried about? I don't fucking buy that shit, dude. These these balloons are fucking made of rock. Uh, I one of these isn't going to be a balloon, right? Oh no, 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 thank you. No, thank you. Lost. Lost? What do you mean, lost? How did I know I had to get on this stupid slide? Oh boy. Uh-oh. Please let me get on here. Okay, let's take the slow. I don't want to get stuck. Yeah, baby. Look at us. <clears throat> Terrifying. Dude, I can crawl faster than this. I think I could you could shoot both of my legs and I'd still crouch faster. Crouch walk faster than this guy. Oh no, another section of just moving so slow it hurts. Look man, I'd I'd really like to uh I'd really like like a like a fucking hot cocoa actually. That's I don't know why that just came to me, but I would absolutely love a hot cocoa. Like, from Santa Claus? What, is it Judy? Or Julie's? Ju I'm pretty sure it's Judy. Judy's hot chocolate. Oh, man. That literally made my childhood. I always wanted one of those hot chocolates. And I never got it. That's my childhood trauma. Stand up, man. Get off the ground, it's dirty. Thank you. This is fucking exhilarating. Look at me go. Green, blue, slides, toys? Is that a tricycle? Teepee huts? Oh man, this game's got it all. <coughs> This game doesn't deserve the hate that it's getting from me. I think I'm just a little, uh... I'm a little sick, is all. I hope you guys can forgive this game. Because I can't. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I came out of retirement for this. I should have just stayed in bed. Oh, this is kind of cool. It's been done a million times, but I like it. Dude. <sighs> oh, look at... There's like something behind this wall. That's the most horror thing in this whole game right now. Yay! Look at me go! That's fun. It was also very lazily done, if you ask me. I can go back up it? No. Of course not. You wanted to have fun? That's not allowed. This is what was fucking freaking out, I think. I can't check it out, though. I'll fucking do it. I'll figure it out. I'm looking in there. <laughs> I 
I guess we'll never know. That's the closest this game has come to, like, having a scary thing. <clears throat> or at least a, an implicit theme of horror, you know. Something you don't understand, making noise, coming from an object whose uh, symbolism you don't understand, I guess. What else do I have going on in my life that I could tell you about? Because I don't know what else to say about this game. Um, oh yeah, man. I, uh, I tried to call off work the other day, because I was, um, super sick, of course. And, uh, they gave me shit for it. I called HR, and they were like, are you new? Okay, before I keep up with that story... Is this cake a lie? Yeah, okay. Oh my god, this fucking game is pissing me off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Continue? Created by Vinny Cortez. Um, all right, I guess that was tape one. I, uh, I, had, I have no idea. Oh, his name was Josh, not Paul. Back rooms lost tape. <coughs> Hello? Anyone here? Hello? Achievement unlocked, not thirst anymore. Backrooms lost tape. We know what game we're playing. You don't need to remind us. Um, I think I just escaped the backrooms. And there's no, there's no fucking way to get out. There's. <laughs> Because why would there be a way to get out, you know? Is this intentional, or am I... ...falling endlessly? Maybe this is an easter egg. That'd be kind of clever, right? But I don't think this is normal either. So I can't escape, I'll just close the whole game, man. Okay, so every time I fucking load... This happens. I can't do anything about it. But whenever I click on select tape, it says, are you sure you will lose any save progress? But the issue that I have with that is I'm just selecting the tape. I'm not starting it. So if I hit yes, do you just delete my save data for no fucking reason? You absolute monster. Uh, I mean, I can't load the tape. I, I'm stuck. I just fall through the back rooms. I clip through the back rooms. Whatever. Oh my god, it really is. It really is the first tape. It really is. And now I can't load tape. This game is going right in the fucking refund bin. 
Okay, I'm sorry everyone. I know you love the back rooms. Trust me, I love it too. Uh, but I hope you understand. I hope you all have it in your hearts to forgive a sick man like me. I need cough drops and hot cocoa and a bed. I don't need the back rooms. I love you all. Happy holidays. If I don't see you, happy new years. I'm sure I will though. There's plenty more for me to do before the end of this year. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this ridiculous video, then consider subscribing. Otherwise, tell me to go fuck myself in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye